YMT112 algorithm and programming to you and we are still speaking about uh, applets this is chapter 14 we discussed uh, three questions earlier and we are on the fourth question if you haven't gone through these questions please go through them watch their videos they are pretty inter uh, interesting and they will help you understanding the rest of the questions um, currently we are discussing uh, question four design an applet that produces concentric uh, cir circles as provided in the screenshot below. So we have these concentric uh, circuits. They have the, sorry circles. They have the same uh, center, and each time, let's say we start from the outer one, the outermost, and then we shrink, we minimize the uh, circles until the last one. So it's. This one is a recursive process, iterative or recursive. I will use recursive process because you already studied the recursive recursion. I mean, uh, you know what how how re recursive functions would work or methods would work. Um, the idea before I move, I mentioned about this in in one of the previous videos. I think the last video, yes. Uh, I said that when we create a drawing or a painting in uh, an applet. If this painting is like um, an oval shape, for example, cir cir a circle can be an oval shape, but oval with even um, dimensions. It, it must be uh, encapsulated or enclosed by a rectangle. So how do we know from where to start? We specify the top corner of a rectangle and then we specify the size of the rectangle the height and the width or the length usually we call this one height so height and width then we have an the oval inside it will be provided based on the content that we have the the uh the, the uh, box that we have so we are not drawing actually an oval we could do that but now we are drawing a circle and these circles actually have even shape and then in that case uh the idea of having a rectangle is not exactly applicable what we have is a square and this is an exception because of the circle so a circle can fit exactly uh, inside a square and the square will touch from four places from within the square so let's just go ahead and try to create it i have just uh created a class here i extended the j applet <coughs> i'm sorry so I extended the J applet and now what I'm going to do is um, I will just set up a few things. The first thing, I'll ignore setting up the background and we will see how things will go. Just ignore it. What we did earlier, like the content pane and then um, set the background color. I'll ignore it for the time being and then we will see how things will go. Now what I'm going to do, I'll create uh, or I would actually write the method for painting. So void paint, paint. And then we need the class, the graphics class. We need to create an instance of it. In that case, we need graphics. And of course I have to um, import its uh, definition. So it's available in AWT. I, I would use asterisk so that it would be easier for us if without forgetting any so now where where to start now i'll assume that i'll explain i'll create a method because i want to have some recursion and in that case i'll say draw circles and in these draw circles method i will provide the followings okay this is a method so i'll provide the followings the graphics okay our instance and then i say i have some uh size or number of cir circles and uh, from where to uh, start and then finally the size the size that we need to uh, start up with okay so this is the exact idea we need these for dimensions and I'll, I will show you in, in a few seconds now let's just get out of this paint I'll create this um, draw circle circles and it's private. Why private? I, I don't need any access from the outside world to this um, 
method. So I keep my code here a bit more secure as there is no need for any other method in the time being to access to it. So we have these uh, parameters here, graphics first, it's a graphics, so it's type of graphics, we can use the same name, uh, I, need to, I don't want to make this typo, graphics, okay. And then the second one is, we said um, what we are looking for is uh, the size, and then uh, number of, sir, not size, the number of, circles that we are supposed to draw then from where to start so we need to get the, the reference I said earlier let's say you want to start from uh, this outer circle specify the uh, specify the corner the corner of where you're supposed to provide uh, your rectangle or in this case the square actually rectangle but rectangle by default but when the height and the width are equal then it's a square so we say this is the corner, then it will just expand based on its own dimensions, okay? So this is the top x, y. You, you could call it whatever you like, but because it makes sense. This is the coordinate where we start and the integer, the size, I have to, to keep this one uh, changeable. Why changeable? Because our circle, our circle start by this one, the outer one, then they shrink. So each time I shrink the size, okay, this is good. So what I'm going to do, if n is greater than zero, that means I still have a count to go. Initially n, and we said it's 10. So this is the outermost is number one, then this would be nine, uh, eight, until we reach to one, then we don't have an, any, any iteration. We could have created um, an iterative approach. That means we, we could have just created a, a loop, a, a for, for loop or, or while loop, but it, there is no need. Uh, we can use the uh, uh, recursive approach. And in that case, it will be actually revision also for the other chapter last time we took. The first thing I will set the color. Now let's see their color, I, I think blue, right? Let me check. Yes, blue. Okay, so I have to set the color here, blue color blue capital or small oh by the way you can use the uh, this one lowercase or uppercase it's up to you now next to that we need to draw what to draw so draw oval we don't exactly have draw circle we draw an oval but this oval uh, we need to specify the dimensions where it is actually enclosed as i said it's inside the box so if you have a circle inside the box or inside a rectangle, or in this case is a square, it will touch four sides from four points only. And like, because it's symmetric in this case, it's not like other ovals. So we specify these uh, coordinates, top x, y, where we start, and also here top x, y. Okay, this is for initialization because it will be changed. And then we start by the size, okay? So after that, what we need to do is also we start by the size here. So we start by x, y, the beginning, let's say five here and 300, then we, we will change those, okay? So five, five, 300, 300, then we will override this process, how? We call the method again, draw circles, and then we provide new arguments. Now look, uh, the first one is already uh, drawn using whatever passed from here. We passed 10, 5, uh, five 300. So next to that, what will happen? We will be having a new style, okay? So we will have a new style in that case, okay? So draw circles, we will pass also the graphics because we are changing it. We need to change the graphics instance. I will decrement the number of uh, circles. Initially it's 10, now I'll make it nine. And next time it will be eight, next time. So it's incremental, dec uh, decremental. And then I'll pass top X, Y. Keep it the way it is, but add to it 15. I'm changing the dimensions and moving. So 
as you are shrinking by the size of the circle, you need to move the dimensions, okay? So, and now the last part, I need to also reduce the size because the first one to be printed is the outermost, this one. Then I minimize the size, I minimize the size. Now you, you may ask, how do I know you minimize 30 uh, and you change this one 15? Well, 15 is the half of 30, so because we move by two uh, from two sides, now look at this, from one side here 15, one side here 15. But how about 30, it's, I well, I, I wouldn't also be quite sure in that case. It's just an application in, in this uh, that we are having here. I set up the specifications and I have to give credit. This is actually from your textbook. It's not my own design. My own design, I'll show you in a while. Uh, well, it's not hard. I mean, you start from somewhere and you keep uniformly moving. So we have a uniformity here. Why adding 15 from both sides is exactly minus 30 in size. And this is what we want to do. And this is a recursion process, so it's recursive. So this is a recursive process, it's a recursion or the application of recursion that you just studied in uh, chapter 15. Let's just uh, run and here you go. Okay, and as I said, by default, this one is uh, actually smaller than the size you expect. That's normal, there is no problem with it. You can stretch it out so that you can see fully. Now, before leaving uh, this question, I have another one about the modification of this question. And this is, I said, this is my design, for example, how I moved or how I changed this one to, to be like this. Now, it's extremely simple. What I'm going to do, keep everything same, just change this one to minus 20. And let's just run and see the outcome. Look, now see how things go. Now, now I think you, you could pick up the idea what's happening. Our circles are actually shrinking, but while well, we are shrinking with what? The size of the circle. We have number of circles same, but the size is extremely shrinking. So it would take a corner. It will take a corner like it would be like this. Now let's just provide something like this. Uh, I'll just put 200, uh, sorry, 25, look. It has a little bit deviation to this direction. Now I'll put 10 and show you how things go. Okay. Here you are. All right, this is what we are actually looking for, what we need to have. This is the design now. Uh, besides, I change it instead of uh, subtracting 30 which is actually twice 15 and sub subtracting actually uh, something less than 15 and that creates for me uh, well the biggest one then smaller 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 and like that and you can try also with 15 and see how things go uh, you will get interesting things like this <laughs> okay sounds also interesting well, there are other applications for this, but I, I just wanted to, to show you how if you manipulate the size and keep the dimensions, you can also change the dimensions here, the movement, and you will see the outcome. All right, that's it for this session. We will have the last session in a while. Until then, have a good time. Goodbye.